Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I am going to go through and show you how to add different product sizes and colors and add different images for that so that it switches automatically. So we'll first go to a product on our site here that's tomofit.com and let's scroll down and I'm going to go to this strong product. So you can see here there's different sizes as well as different colors. So what we're wanting to accomplish is not only having the capability of letting customers add in different sizes or products that they can purchase, but also making it to where it switches. So for example, it's automatically doing a slideshow on the left hand side, but if we click on one of these, it'll automatically go to that image as well. So this is what we're wanting to set up. And so let's head into the back end of Shopify and we'll go ahead and set up a product. So this is the, the product that we just saw. So you can get a glimpse of, of how that's set up, but let's go in and create our own now. So I am in the back end of Shopify under products, all products. And the first thing I'm going to do is just hit add product in this top right hand corner. And I'm going to go in and add a name for it. Okay, and you can add in your description here. Um, I'm just going to put a description goes here. And now I'm going to add in my images. So I already have these created, so I'm just going to hit upload image. And I'm going to select all of the ones that are the different colors. So it's these right here and hit open. Next, I'm going to come over here to organization and I'm going to choose my type. So it's a tank top as well as the vendor, which is Tomo Fit. And I'm going to add it to the featured products collection as well as to the tank top designs. So this is just kind of general product setup. So next we want to add in a price. So let's go back and see what this other price is. It's 25, so we'll keep that the same. And then we wanna create a SKU for this. So I am doing a drop shipping printer for this. So a printing on demand called Printful, which I will have another tutorial linked here for you to view as well if you're interested in doing any printing on demand. Uh, but it's important to have because of this, the colors and the SKU set up so that everything can connect over really nicely and that there's no confusion. So I'm going to just put in a SKU and I'm gonna say beast. And then I'm gonna leave it just like this and whenever we add in the different sizes and color options then I can build onto the SKU there. And then I'm not going to track the product inventory just because this is a printing on demand, so I can always print more. Make sure that it says shipping, and if you wanted to, you can put your weight here for the product and choose between ounces or pounds. And then the last step is where we're going in and adding the variant. So I'm going to hit variant here, and you can instantly see that you have this option of size. So let's go ahead and add in our size options. So I'm gonna just take a second here and type all these in. And if you hit a comma after you enter it, it'll automatically make it this box and you can add in another item. Okay, so that's my sizes. So you can see as I was creating it here, it instantly started doing it down here as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll add in another one of color. So this automatically puts in color here. However, you could change this to whatever you wanted it to be. Like if it was a necklace, you could put length um, or just you know change that however you want to describe your product. So I'm going to put in the color options now. And again, I'm keeping these the same name uh, the color name as what my dropshipper is using just to avoid confusion. But you can name your colors however you want them to be. OK, 
Okay, so now that I've added all of the colors in as well, you can see now it has this green, which is our size, and then the purple, which is the color option. So now I could come in and I could do the SKUs how I want them. So I'm gonna make this first option be the size. So I'm gonna say XS and just an E for Envy. I'm gonna come in here and do all of these real quick. And I'm actually just gonna do this first extra small set and I'll come back later on my own time and finish doing the rest of it. But we'll finish out this here. And again, you can make your SKUs whatever you want them to be. This is just an, an easy way for me to look at them and instantly know what it is. So now that we've got all of our variants added in of our sizes and colors, as well as all the other product information added, I'm just gonna hit save. So now we have it to where the customer can select to purchase a specific size or color. However, we do wanna link up the images. So that way, back in our example over here, whenever we click on it, it changes the image on the left. So we'll come back here, and the way to select these images now is to actually go in and click on this image. So you do need to have the images already uploaded, or you can upload it from here, but we'll click here. And this is Envy, so I'm gonna just select the Envy product. So if you don't already have your images already uploaded, you could click Add Image here and add it in there. So I'll hit Save. And I'm gonna continue this process as I'm going. So Heather White. So you'll go through and do this for all of your different ones. So the more images and um, sizes and color options you have, the more this is gonna take a little bit longer. However, it does make it look really nice and polished on your site and it helps your customers feel very confident in what they're purchasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it like that for the extra smalls, but you would continue through all of these that are automatically created. So I wanna also show you how to change your order that they're showing in. So for example, right now we have this Envy color first and then the rest are following in after that. So let's move this blue around and then we wanna move the variant so that they match. So let's go ahead and view this product. So I'm just gonna view this. So this is it on our site. So we have the green and then white. So it's automatically switching here. Now you'll notice here though, these, the black and the turquoise are out of order. So it's gonna skip by the turquoise. And so we're having to do this extra scroll back and forth. So it's nice to be able to put it right in order. So to do that, we're gonna just come back here to the back end and I'm gonna hit reorder variants. So I'm just gonna switch the placement of the turquoise and the black, which were the images that I switched over and I'm gonna hit save. And then the last thing I wanna show you for this is if you want to go in and add another color or another size, it's really easy to do that. So you're gonna just go in and I'm gonna select all of the extra smalls. Or actually, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna deselect the extra small. And let's say we wanna add a different color. So I'm gonna come in and select all of the MB colors because I wanna do it in every size. Okay, so I've got all the MBs. And then what I would do is I would come up here to action and I would say duplicate, duplicate variants in another color. So this is gonna automatically recreate these variants of the different sizes of extra small, small, medium, large, and it'll do it in another color that we decide upon. So if you click on this, you can name your color, and then once you hit done, it'll automatically create those as well. Also, if you have, for example, a product that you don't have in a specific color, you can just come in and delete that if it's already added in, or if you're having inventory tracking, you can automatically set that to zero inventory.
And that's how you can create a product and instantly sync up the sizes and the colors with your images so that it's a great experience for your customer. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to receive weekly videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.